Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Tuesday the 10th of September 2024. So, some of the students have arrived and I think we have a sporty bunch this year. Yes, I've only seen two of them, but one of them has already got changed into about three different sporting outfits and gone off and come back and tapped off some beach shoes, so maybe a surfer and uh, maybe a hockey player or something like that, but we're gonna see. And then I, a girl that lived there who was jogging. Haven't had enough time to see how the jogs are or whether people are, you know, monitoring pulse in the street. But nevertheless, it's very promising people. So I, they're not all quite here yet. So I will let you know. Ooh. Now, answers on a postcard, please. Random people have started walking their dogs down, up and down the street. And that's nothing new or wrong, obviously. But they've been letting them take what can only be described as a death dump kind of outside my house. And then I think maybe, apologies if you're having a breakfast, that the dog knows that's where they go and then they keep coming round. And I'm like, what can I do about this? I considered getting a sign, do not let your dog do a death dump outside my house, but done in a really nice welcome to the house kind of a script, you know what I mean, with a little bit of filigree and a smiley face. Um, but yeah, seriously, because often as well, it's right where I'm gonna stand. And I am that person, I've been very accident prone lately and I will stand in it. So answers please. Also, in other news, I attempted to hoover downstairs, went to get, well, I bought one of those Henry Hoovers, it's like a, a disc with a face on it. I know, well weird, but everybody likes them here in the UK, so I was like, I must buy one, and it will change me as a, as a cleaning person. <clears throat> so I did, went to use it, it's got a big metal pipe thing that comes down, tripped and nutted myself on the metal pipe, thought that that was just a misstep, you know, and then thought, okay, I'm going to unwind the thing. Got my hand trapped in the unwindy thing and took a bit of skin off. And then I was like, I'm just not meant to be hoovering. And that's that really. Excellent. Anyone with any hoover stories, keep them clean. No, A, I know I went to A&E. I was just minding my own business. <laughs> you know what I mean. I was just minding my own business when I tripped and fell. Anyway, we're using some Ocean Oracle today because I kind of feel like it. Don't know why. Feels a bit drifty. It's also September. So are you enrolling on any academic classes or evening classes or, you know, anything really? Let me know. I love, I, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of in-between seasons. So I love this sort of preview that we're in, which is this sort of semi-autumnal, the term is beginning, you know, that feeling of excitement. <clears throat> I think I like it more than January, because in January, I don't know, you're just a little bit saturated by what happened in December. So, okay, I wonder if my Christmas reading this year will be as bleak as it normally is. I know, I do it every year. And every year is like, Les Miserables. Oh, Les Miserables. Oh gosh, she says as she pulls the ruins card. I don't know what's happened to my voice. <coughs> I was completely fine until I switched the camera on. There you go. Maybe there's something to say. Ooh. Okay, God. This deck, this particular deck, the Ocean Oracle, I find it gives me a really deep involved reading whenever I use it um, and I wasn't I didn't really have expectations either way I do love I have to say the back of the cards and also they do match my top which is obviously deeply planned right I want to show you these as a triptych because they work really well as that not bad not bad Okay, let's move them closer together. 
Yeah, actually that does work for me. Hope it works for you. We start off with Clownfish, which is the Finding Nemo, I think. And this whole sort of innocence and it's weird because I was looking out of the window just now at a couple of children that live in the street, um, really young, you know, a toddler and a, and a baby really. And I do really love the way that particularly children of that age, like two to three, they just kind of twirl around for the sake of it. Or they just make really weird noises, like yelping noises, <laughs> because they like the sound of it. Um, I sort of like that innocent freedom that they have. And I was just thinking about it a bit before I came on here, because obviously I'm being nosy and looking out of my window. And I feel like the clownfish is a lot to do with that. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Yes, we can. This, it's innocence and it's a sense of play. And it's also something that we all still have in us. And I suppose talking about doing evening classes and things, you know, like, particularly if it's something where you're interacting with other people, which I know for a lot of us introverted types can sort of excite you and fill you with horror at the same time. But this feeling of having a laugh, having a joke, having some kind of banter, or even just yourself. You know, like the other day when I almost knocked myself out on the hoover, kind of had to laugh about it in the end because what's the alternative really? Do you know what I mean? What is the alternative is that you sink into some kind of decline and say to yourself, even the hoover is against me. <laughs> I may have to use that cat tarot scene that has the devil as the hoover because I'm kind of, I'm feeling it with the cats. So I feel like we have access to this new term, new start, even though lots of planets are in retrograde and things feel all over the place and still feel a little bit, oh my God, now, come on, that's amazing. One of the kids across the road is wearing the most sparkly coat. I am absolutely as jealous as anything. It's amazing and she's like, She's got that look that you get, and I still get this actually, of like, when you have something glittery or whatever it is for you, you're like, oh yeah, that's nice. Okay, so that's that card. All of that, the thrill of just, here's my glittery outfit, there is a tube of glitter in my hand, or whatever is your particular North Star. Without questioning it, and also maybe it's time um, in terms of it being a new term for us to look into now pursuing that a bit without making it difficult or boring, okay? Then we get ruins, endings. Okay, this came up in the love reading a bit. It's come up in a few readings. I think it came up in the shadow reading that I did for the gem stars the other day it's a lot to do with letting go and what you need to let go of and where that's going to take you and you don't let go of it because it's going to take you somewhere you let go of it because you know you need to let go of it and also the more time you spend in this energy the more instinctive you are about what you need to let go of because it doesn't feel good if you allow yourself to play in this energy, what is heavy and restrictive just really sticks out and you just think, mm, this doesn't feel good. You can't explain why and you're not going to explain why, it just doesn't feel good. Then we have driftwood and we are using the J word, the journey. But driftwood gives us this notion, what amazing colours as well, I'm loving that. Driftwood gives us this notion of not knowing where you're going to end up. And this play card is a lot to do with that. You don't know, you know, it's not always so much fun to play games with massive rules that you know how it's gonna end. This is open-ended, this is drifty, it's a bit like that card, the oracle card with the person in the bathtub, you know, it feels like that. So there's a sense here of allowing yourself to drift and allowing life to take you somewhere without having to know where you need to go. 
it's that poem um, which I've mentioned many times and I think it's called The Waking and one of you is kind enough to put it in the comments once I think and I think is it Theodore Ruthker and I can never say his name hang on let me have a look god you know when you type things into your phone and they come out nothing like the word you thought you were saying Okay, just has to check that I know what a set of steps looks like. Me and computers are not getting on at the moment, people. Okay. Google thinks I'm a robot at this moment in time. Maybe I am. Maybe this is all a simulation. Right, okay. I can't tell you because it won't let me, but I think the poem is called The Waking. So if you get the chance, have a look at that, okay? And let me know if you're going in for any evening classes or anything that you're learning that's new, even if it's not in a formal new term kind of a way. And let me know how you like to play. And I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.